Okay, this is kind of a walkthrough of a uh, Autel MS uh, 906TS. Um, this is a 2013 Camaro, and uh, I thought I'd do a kind of a walkthrough to show you the options that uh, this Autel has for uh, this car. We'll go. We'll kind. Of, we'll try to go through as many of the uh, modules as we can. We'll see what kind of special functions and uh, uh, ops checks and stuff like that that it provides. We won't really look at the live data or anything because, of course, a lot of scanners are going to show live data. But uh, I'll do the auto scan, then we'll go into the controlled units and we'll see how many controlled units there are, and then we'll go through and we'll see, uh, you know, what kind of what kind of things you can do uh, to this car and and probably a lot of GM cars. It you know in this year range, we'll probably have a lot of these same uh, options and features on this, uh, on this scanner. So if you got, you know, a 2013, you know, roughly GM car, you can probably expect most of them to have these same features, uh, available on, on these Autel scanners. So let's go ahead and do a, we'll do an auto scan. We'll see what all it finds as far as how many modules this car's got. And then, uh, we'll kind of go from there. All right, so, okay, 17 modules that this car has. Um, we'll go into each one of these, and then I'll back out of it, and uh, we'll go into the uh, the manual uh, module option. So the, the, basically the main thing that I want to show is these this the, the things under the a, uh, active test and the special functions are... are usually unique to a higher end scanner almost all scanners i have tr whoops i have trouble code you know features uh live data but depending on what you're doing you know there, there's a lot of these active tests that that you need to be able to do um you know for instance turning on the cooling fan to see if the fan works see if the computer is able to control the fan uh play with the ignition timing to, to make sure that the uh, uh, timing solenoids uh, are uh, to make sure the distributor is able to you know the computer is able to control the uh, this car's distributor list so it doesn't have a distributor make sure the computer can control the ignition timing um, what else we got here misfire graphic starter relay you know you can check the starter relay so these are things that you know that depending on what kind of problem you're having your, with your car you're going to want to be able to, you know, turn things on and off, uh, you know, like the fuel pump, uh, stuff like that. And then, of course, the special functions, you know, you got brake pedal position, sensor learn, crankshaft uh, variation learn, engine oil life reset, uh, fuel trim reset, idle learn, you know, things like that. <clears throat> Um, uh, <clears throat> I am status <clears throat> inspection and maintenance not even sure what that is but we'll take a look oh okay yeah that just shows you where you know if you're getting ready to go down for an inspection uh, you can kind of use that to, to make sure that everything's good so far so that was the engine module. We'll see what the transmission's got. Probably two of the most important engine and transmission, you know, and see what you can do. There's what the transmission has as far as active test. So you can test, you know, the shift solenoids, uh, you know, control, control solenoids and stuff like that. Torque converter control pressure. The adaptive pressure reset. I 
here's the brakes, pump, ABS motor, you know, your, your individual valves, booster pump. <clears throat> you know, those are things that if you're having ABS problems and you're trying to figure out, you know, well, what's the problem? You can, you can activate this stuff and, you know, help, help narrow down what the problem is. And then this is the special functions, uh, brake pressure sensor calibration, steering wheel angle sensor learn. You know, if you have to change your clock spring uh, or something like that, you know, you, you can do a uh, a relearn on that. SRS, see what it's got. Airbag off indicator. There's, you know, th this is the active test where you can check, make sure the indicator's working. Uh, stuff like that. Special functions. You know, if you had to put a new module in, you know, if you wreck a car and the airbag goes off, you can't just uh, put a new airbag in it and reset the code and be done with it. It doesn't work like that. You actually have to configure a new module for it or possibly the the uh, original module if you have a tool that will do it <clears throat> in fact this you know this right here reset high voltage disable request after crash event detected if you don't have a scanner that can do that you're going to have to uh, either get another module have a shop do it um, this scanner should be able to do it according to what i'm seeing here so that's you know something good to know So here's some instrument cluster, you know, options. Steering angle. Some of these also that I've noticed, you know, you'll see it, you'll see redundancy like you know, we saw this in another module. That that's not uncommon to see. You know, a couple of the same uh, things that you can do. You know, in other modules. So keep that in mind. Fuel pump control module. Now this, you know, <clears throat> you can monitor the fuel pressure and to kick the pump on and off. Now this car's got a high pressure. It's got an electric pump in the tank, and it's got a high-pressure pump. It's a, uh, you know, a direct-injected engine, so you got to keep that in mind when you're working on working on them. Park assist. And again, you know, we're just kind of going through, you know, I mean, I'm not going to We'd be here all night if I was actually going to click on each and every one of these and see what all they would do. So I'm just kind of showing what, you know, what the options uh, on this particular make and model, what options there are as far as, you know, active test and special functions. That was something that I was wanting to know whenever I was looking for a scanner. There was a couple things specific that I needed to, I needed a scanner to be able to do. And I never could really get a, uh, a solid answer you know, whether certain scanners could do, you know, certain things or not. I looked and looked and, you know, maybe one of you guys are, you know, you got a Camaro, you, you want to get a scanner and you don't know for sure if, uh, you know, uh, if a cer certain scanner you're looking for will do it or not. Well, hopefully you can look at this video and see the options that it's got and, and help you make up your mind whether or not, you know, an Autel will, uh, will do what you want. Now, some of these, you know, like active test windows, you know, you'll be able to roll the windows up and down. Some vehicles, um, if you replace the window regulator, it's got the crush sensor and the window, you have, the window has to learn, you have to relearn the window, uh, you know, where full up and full down is. So, you know, you got to have a scanner to be able to do that. So if you replace the window regulator and you don't have a scanner to reset the window, the uh, the auto up the 
may not work right. Hopefully you can see this okay. You know, this car's got heated seats. You know, it's nice to, you know, if, if you're just having an issue with the seats not working, it's nice to know that you can come in here and, uh, you know, use a scanner to help help the, the troubleshoot and diagnose what's, you know, what's going on. This has got the heads-up display in it. So, you know, if it wasn't working, you know, it's nice to uh, to know, you know, that you've got a tool that can help you troubleshoot, save you some money. These tools have, you know, used to Snap-on was the only thing really out there or, or other uh, tool manufacturers, Matco and Mac, you know, all their scanners have always been very expensive, very high dollar. And, uh, you know, most uh, home mechanics, you know, that just want to be able to work on their own uh, um, stuff, cars, and maybe some friends, you know, and family's cars, you know, they don't want to spend $10,000 on a scanner, you know. So you can pick one of these up, I think, new for about 1600 bucks. And to me, to uh, to have these kind of uh, functions available um, is, I mean, it's, you, you got to have it. You know, for instance, this right here, um, you replace, a, uh, you know, a lot of vehicles now, if you replace a uh, actuator in your uh, heat or uh, uh, AC, uh, you know, duct, you, you replace one of the um, door actuators you've got to, it's got to learn, you've got to, it's, there's got to be a, uh, the computer needs to know where full, uh, open and close is so that it can regulate it right. If you don't have a scanner to do it, then, you know, you're not going to, you may be able to replace the actuator yourself, but you're not going to be able to, uh, uh, program it to where it'll actually work right. You know, this y'all rate sensor, this is for cars, you know, most all your cars nowadays have uh, stability control. And that's all part of the stability control is the y'all rate sensor. You got to be able to get into that and, and you know, see what's going on before, uh, before you can start working on it. Not even sure what this passenger presence sensor learn, learn is. The camera's kind of in my way, so I'm having to reach kind of underneath and trying to stay out of, from in front. But all right, last one. All right, so that was all 17 modules, just kind of a quick, you know, uh, view of what you can do um, with this Altel scanner. Now, this is the manual uh, menu. So you can go in here and you can manually select what module, you know, you want to, you know, check out. There's engine control module, transmission control, um, you know, and... Everything else, this isn't a convertible, so you'll probably see a couple modules in here that this car doesn't have. You know, folding top control module, this car doesn't have that because it's not a convertible. Now it does also, if you go over here, it's got hot function. I'll go ahead and click on that. So you can quickly go to, you can quickly click on hot function. That way you don't have to go into the actual module. You can reset the, the uh, oil. It's got a TPMS, so you can teach the... Uh, 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 wheel speed sen uh, sensors, tire pressure sensors. Um, you know, you can relearn those so that if you change tires around, if you rotate them or whatever, then you can re relearn, uh, have those relearn. Brake bleed, if you ever do a brake job and you break into your brake, you know, you got to have a, mo uh, a uh, scanner that can go through a brake bleed procedure. Injector balance, 
uh, you know, that's always nice. If you're having a miss, misfire or whatever, you can uh, go in and, you know, do an injector balance. Make sure all the injectors are, are contributing, you know, equally. There's the steering angle uh, sensor, throttle, relearn. You know, if you change the throttle body or whatever, you can do a relearn on it. There's the uh, windows, <coughs> seats. Anyway, you know, this is, like I said, this is the Autel MS uh, 906TS. This is the T, uh, TPMS version. The 906BT is the same thing. It just doesn't have built-in uh, TPMS. I've been real happy with this scanner. There's been a couple little quirks with it. Um, you know, it'll, there's been a couple things, not on this car that I've found yet, but on cars that I've worked on in the past. Um, you know, you'll go into a, to do a certain thing and and it, it it appears to have the capability but then when you click on it 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 uh you know it doesn't make it all the way through or whatever so you know that's probably with anything i had a snap on varus for a while and uh, i had problems with it too i think the more high tech all these scanners get the, the more possibility uh that you know you're going to see uh of having problems you know and, and stuff so all in all 98 99 percent of the time this thing this thing works great so i've been real happy with it if you can pick one of these up relatively cheap i would i would recommend it anyway that's all i got for you so take care